Yo, that video cut out. I don't know when it cut out, but because I was still talking. You know what I'm saying? I just went on and uploaded that bad boy. So I'll sit back and check it. You know what I'm saying? Later on. But anyways. <laughs> Unedited. No director. We supposed to go again at this, man. But yeah, man. They sit back. Try to mess with my dream state and shit. You know. Typical bullshit. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, like I was saying, man. They were, they were very... Uh, <laughs> they're very upset with me for being so independent and they put it out there in, in my uh, dream state you know what I'm saying this dude he was just like he was just like yelling at me he's like yeah uh, you said you're not so independent now are you like they were trying to hurt me and harm me and shit I was just like man fuck you I'm always independent <laughs> you know what I'm saying my, my dependence my independence it's not tied to what y'all do to me. Okay? My my independence is not tied to that. I'm still free. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can sing your little torments and whatever. But this soul is still free, baby. I'm still independent. You ain't gonna stop that. You ain't gonna stop this smile on my face. You know what I'm saying? Even through the tears, I'm going to smile. You hear me? Ain't nothing. But it's good to know I got under y'all's skin. Let's <laughs> see. Maybe you could take, you know what I'm saying, take some advice from me. If you become independent, your life won't revolve around me so much. You know what I'm saying? Your life won't revolve around me at all. You be independent, you gonna be happy too. But apparently, that ain't what you want. I'm not gonna force you to do anything. I'm not even asking you to. I'm just giving some advice, some good advice. It's real good advice. You don't have to take it though. I can lead you to the water, but I ain't gonna make you drink it. You can stay where you at. You know? I'm gonna keep on keeping on. Keep pressing forward, upward and onward. You feel me? Be independent because I can be who I want to be. I can do what I want to do. So I'm gonna stay independent. You feel me? I'm not supposed to be directed, controlled by anyone. No. That's not what I was created for. <laughs> God didn't create me as a follower. God didn't create me as a peasant. Or a slave. Or a subject. God created me as an independent woman. Meaning I can make my own choices. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. I choose what I want to do. I choose what I want to feel. I choose what I want to say. Y'all don't got to like it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if I want to say you're, you gangers, ganger stalkers or assholes, guess what? I said it. Hey. If I want to say that us independent TIs are way better than you. I can say that. And I mean it. And I said it. <laughs> if I want to go outside and take a walk. I do it. I'm doing it. <laughs> if I want to get some sleep. I do that too. Yeah, Y'all can. Y'all can. Do y'all weapons. You know, whatever. Mess with me while I'm asleep. That's cool. But guess what? <laughs> guess what? <laughs> you're, making, you're making a bad situation for yourself. That's all I'm saying to you. You're making a bad situation for yourself. Because 
Yeah, those are y'all choices. Y'all choosing to do that. Y'all choosing to be controlled. Y'all choosing to follow orders. But choices have repercussions as well. So that's that. That's why I don't mind being independent. Because I know that the choices I make are comfortable for me. I'm not worried about my choices backfiring on me because I choose the best choices for me. All right? I'm not going out here pointing weapons at people. I'm not going out here tormenting people. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make them change from being independent. You know? I'm not doing none of that. So that's why I'm happy with my choices. You know what I'm saying? That that part. <laughs> that part. You know what I'm saying? Every choice I make is for me and it's the best choice for me. Alright? And that's that. Y'all cannot tell me what to do. Y'all cannot try to force me to do anything. Y'all cannot stop me from making my videos. You can't stop me from exposing you. You don't want to be exposed and stop doing this stupid stuff that y'all do. Simple. Y'all do stupid stuff. They want to try to get mad because we expose you to the world for who y'all really are. And look, I need to walk another way because these cars are a little loud. You know? I'm not trying to have too much interference, but hopefully I'm talking loud enough to where y'all can hear me. But yeah, like I said, I ain't been outside in like three days. So it feels good to be outside today. And as I said before, this is like my normal routine, even before the quarantine. Like, there were times where I spent two, three, four, five days in the house before all this stuff happened. Like, it's no big deal for me. You know? Well, I like being in the house so much. Because that's where I pay all my bills and my rent. <laughs> and I enjoy it. I enjoy the things that I pay for. My food. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all my technology equipment, my television, my TV, which I hardly watch that. But, you know, if I want to, it's there. Uh, my cell phone, which I'm on right now, making this lovely video. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my food, my clothes, everything in there. Everything I like in there. Talking about why I be at home all the time. Because I like to be there. Alright. That's where my peace is at. You know what I'm saying? My peace of mind. But these uh witch callers try to disturb that as much as they can, but I don't let them. I'm not gonna let them run me out of my house. Fuck you mean. <laughs> I pay bills here. Y'all don't pay bills here. If I want to sit up in this motherfucker all day, that's what I'm going to do. How about that? <laughs> that's what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I, what I feel like doing. You know what I'm saying? I follow my bliss. Whatever makes me happy. You know what I'm saying? I don't live my life for y'all. I don't owe y'all nothing. <laughs> I don't owe these gang stalker troopers. I don't owe y'all nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't owe nobody nothing. Y'all don't owe me nothing. I don't owe y'all nothing. So if I want to chill, that's what I'm going to do. If I want to go for a walk, that's what I'm going to do. If I want to exercise, that's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? If I want to listen to some good music, that's what I'm going to do. If I'm playing video game, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it off. Go on. Grown woman. Independent woman. Do's what she want to do. I ain't hurt nobody. I ain't hurt nobody. You know what I'm saying? I ain't that rough. Birds even love me. Look, man. Nature loves me. God loves me. The birdies love Look at my. Y'all. <laughs> they all love me. I don't do nothing. I'm nice to everybody. You know? 
especially nature. Especially. Because they just so... The animals, man, they just so sweet and innocent and pure. Man, you don't really see much of that. So I enjoy it when I see it, man. I enjoy these animals when I see them. You know what I'm saying? Well, they do. Um, man, I love my life, all right? I love me. How about that? I love my independence. That's how God made me. <coughs> Excuse me. And God don't make no mistakes. God does not make no mistakes. All right. Yeah, man. For real. I stopped trying to get this shit. Get what it mean. I don't give a fuck about that no more. <laughs> it mean whatever the fuck it mean, and that's that. But we finna recycle this paper. You see, I don't know. I say cardboard only, so never mind. <laughs> yeah, this is a paper they put on my door about the virus. Mm -hmm. Talking about how, you know, they're going to keep the fitness center closed or whatever and all that stuff in the clubhouse and blah, 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 blah. Which I haven't been to the fitness center in a while. Which I was recently planning on going back, but now that they're doing all this, I'm like, ah. <laughs> I'll just take my walks and dance and all that good stuff. Get my good cardio. I got some weights at the house, so I lift some weights when I get home. Either way, I'm good. I had everything I see. I want to be at the high. Everything I need there. Got my music. Got my cardio because I like to dance. Listen to my music and dance. Get a good sweat out. I mean, shh. Fuck, I need. Fuck, I need to go places for. <laughs> for what? You know, it doesn't matter to me. Like I said, the people who are having the hardest is the extroverts. Love to go out. Love to go here. Love to go there. Love to go here. Love... They're having it the hardest, and my heart goes out to them. You know, I hope they make it through this. Uh, I know my cousin, she's an extrovert. She was uh, posting that she's having cabin fever, man. Uh, yeah. But I mean, there are things you can you can you can do if you really want to just get out like a shit. I'm getting out if we can get out for a walk. Shit, they can't stop that. And even if they could, I mean, shit. I'm so much of an independent. I probably still be out here walking. They just have to lock me up. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Like, fuck you, man. I feel good though. I feel good in the motherfucker right now. Mm -hmm. Breathing in this good ass uh, air. Ah, smell the cut grass. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> yeah. Let me smell my shirt. I'm trying to see if it smells like outside yet. <laughs> This still, still smells like washing detergent. <laughs> but anyways, um, man, y'all, I can't stop smiling. I can't stop smiling. Even in the mix of the drama, God still gives me a reason to smile. And even though I could be a butthole, God knows I can be a butthole sometimes. Like, man, like no other. I can't be. Mm -hmm. Especially when I get mad. When I get mad, man. I be, I be like, look, <laughs> y'all don't want these problems. 
Let me go and quarantine myself. <laughs> you know. Let me go and quarantine myself. And then God has to hear the, the worst of it. Because when I quarantine myself, I go and talk to God. And when I'm mad, them conversations ain't really that pretty. But it is what it is. You know. But thank God. God is patient with me because I be I be like, look, man, I be getting mad at God about these little demons running around, like for real. I be like, look, man, <laughs> look, man, man. I know I be sounding like I'm trying to tell God. Look, I know I'm trying to tell you what to do, but I'm trying to tell you what to do. Like, you better get them off my butt, man, because I'm look. <laughs> I'm this close to wanting to punch you one of them right in the nose. Just, just, uh, Like, God, you better get these little suckers. These little sucker luckers. <laughs> look, 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 look. Like, the devil's kid's bad, man. They need an ass whooping. And I'll be the one to give it to him. Look, I'll be the one to give it to him. You hear me? Be like, God, you ain't working fast enough. You say you gonna take care of it, but when? When, huh? When? Shit. <laughs> I'm just saying. Try to check my lips. All right. Anyways. Damn. Hold on, y'all. Now, like I was saying, man. I be trying to put a rush order on that shit. For real. For real. I be trying to rush order. Ship it faster, guys. Ship them like can of whoop ass. Just bring it on in. Just bring it on in there. <laughs> Any moment. Taking a watch. Any moment now. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, look, man. Any moment now. You want me to do it for you, God? Look. <laughs> I'm joking, y'all. I'm joking. I'm not I'm not finna do that for real, okay? That's a little jokey joke. Um, yeah, man. I did that because that looked like one of those cars, man. <laughs> it's creepers. Jeepers, creepers. That's what they be looking like. But yeah. I'm gonna stay outside for a minute. Feel good out here. seem like it's trying to peep out it's been raining out here for like all week for like about six seven five days i don't know i don't lost count it's been raining like every day it's been all muggy outside that's another reason why i ain't really been outside i'm gonna be outside in the sun <laughs> but i said shit fuck it. i'm gonna go outside today You're looking at. I don't want your phone number. Wait, man. This is what we do. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Still got some kind people out here. That was sweet. Mm. Yes, indeed. Hey, how you doing? Good. Yeah, I still got some kind people out here, so I'm thankful for that. Um, oh, they put on one of my favorite trees. I think they just trimming it though. Hopefully, 
hopefully they just giving her a trim. But man, <clears throat> it's a butterfly. Oh, um. Uh. I don't know what kind of fly that is. That's one of those little, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, man. I feel good. I feel real good out here. Yes, indeed. I hope y'all good, though. Because... You got to keep your spirits up out here, man. Don't let them get you all upset, distraught, none of that. Keep your joy, keep your peace. Because yeah. when it's all said and done, it's all about you. It's all about you. And you, and you, and whoever else. You know what I'm saying? Your independence. You ain't out here hurting nobody. You're free to be you. You know what I'm saying? Free to breathe in this good air. Free to be happy. Free to say what's on your mind. You know? Free. Yeah. Pretty much. I'm just thinking, man, I got to see my granny. She came to visit me. She yeah, she always comes to visit R.I.P. You know. And uh I know she proud of me. I've came a long way. <laughs> you know, I've came a long way. And she came a long way. Because she was raised in an era where it was, I want to say, worse than this. You know what I'm saying? She was raised in an era where the slavery was more intense. Um mind control all that stuff so I'm thankful for her freedom from that you know what I'm saying and uh she's one of the people who gives me hope to keep pressing on so if y'all have loved ones that have passed on, just know that I'm no I know that they're proud of you too. They're proud of you and they want you to keep pressing on. Um, it's like I can feel her presence. <laughs> yeah man. But anyways, um It is what it is. And it's what we make it. And we got to keep installing positive energy into ourselves. Because they ain't, they sure not going to po install no positive energy in you. If they have their way, they're going to install negative energy into you. You know? And the key, get to that subconscious of yours. And install positive things into yourself. Alright. The more positivity you install into yourself, the better you make it for yourself. Tell yourself you're strong enough. You're more than strong enough. You're more than good enough. So I'm more than strong enough and I'm more than good enough. All right? All that. No matter what. 
no matter what your circumstances look like right now, just know you're strong enough, you're good enough, and you're going you're gonna to go so far beyond your wildest dreams. You go so far beyond it. Whatever you whatever you put your focus on is is where life is going to take you. And that's why it's important not to put too much focus on the negative, what they try to bring at you. Use that as a compass to direct your energy somewhere else. All right. No matter what they try to bombard you with on. Uh, the news and the negative uh, broadcasts and the terror and the this and the that and the that and the this. You don't have to focus there. And understand, understand, know that when they're doing this, it's all a ploy to get you to focus there. They know that that's where your power is at. And they want your power to charge up their false reality. When you can use your power to charge up your independent reality of what you would like it to be. There's good people in this world. There's good energy in this world. There's so many good experiences in this world. That are just waiting for us to experience them. That's the truth. And if I don't, or if you don't see it, does it make it unrealistic? No. I don't see the air. Does that make the air unrealistic? No. I don't see the particles that make up this air, that make up these leaves. I don't see the particles. I don't see them, but does that make them unrealistic? No. I don't see the words that are coming out of my mouth right now. I don't see the vibrations of the sounds that are going through my neck, my, my uh, vocal cords. Does that make it unrealistic? All right, then. So, to reprogram the subconscious mind, you have to do it in your own voice, with your own words, with your own energy. Because that's the best way. I challenge you to make yourself a video recording speaking nothing but good kind loving words towards you and your world and I challenge you to say that recording to listen to that recording often often when I say often, I mean every day. Listen to it. Every day. While you sleep. Have it in the background. Especially while you sleep. Have it in the background. Because your subconscious mind is more receptive while you're asleep. While you're in a very calm, relaxed state. Play that recording. Put it on a loop, playing over and over and over again. Don't let nobody stop you from being your greatness. Living your truth. Just because it's different from their truth doesn't make it any less perfect for you. All right. An independent person 
is not here to live under anyone else's standards or guidelines. An independent person is here to experience life as they see fit. As they see fit. And I don't mean to cause anyone alarm when I say this. All right? Because independence is not something to be afraid of. As some may imply, you know, if someone chooses to cause someone harm, there is a very live and well law that governs everything called karma. And karma will hold everyone accountable for their actions. So, know that your independence and karma work hand in hand together. All right? And karma is always on your side when you're doing what's right. And again, what's right to you doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be what's right for me. For instance, you say what's right for you is to live on the north side. I say what's right for me is to live on the south side. That's your right, my right. That's your independence, my independence, all right? Now, that's that. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, definitely, if you want to take me up on that challenge, hit the like button, comment if you're able to, um, let me know how it's working for you. And I'm taking my own challenge. I've been actually taking that challenge for a long time. I listen to my own uh, recordings with my own voice, speaking goodness into my life. And uh, I do it daily, throughout the day, and especially at night. And it will definitely boost up your self-awareness, your self-confidence, your self-esteem. It will help you to feel better about yourself. And no matter how good you already feel about yourself, it never hurts to feel even better. You know? Because we live in a society that... You know, <laughs> you got some that don't want you to do that. And they'll do anything they can to thwart that. So, knowing this, take those measures, man. Take those measures. So that whenever uh, things happen that affect you in a way that's not so good, you have something to fall on to. You have a safety net. That is you. All right. You are your safety net. All right. So if you meet a time where it feels like you're the only one, no one has your back, no one is supporting your vision, you are supporting your vision. And that is what matters the most. And with those positive things installed into your subconscious, it will take you everywhere you need to go, you want to go. And will help you to stay 
independent. All right. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm good. Yeah, we'll help you to stay independent and strong with your values and everything. Um, yeah. Because I'm going to give y'all a little backstory on what made me start to make those videos for my, cause I, I mean, not videos, but recordings. Because I made several recordings for myself. And the backstory on that, what caused me to do that, was I noticed that I was lacking in my self-esteem and my confidence and my strength within myself. I noticed the lacking of. And what made me notice the lacking of was that <clears throat> I was, you know, more susceptible to their mind control, you know, you know, what? What you want to do that for? You're not good enough to do that type of type of mindset that would pop in when I would want to do something. And I noticed that that's not me. You know, that's not me at all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, that's a lie. I got to get this about my mind because whatever kind of crazy install. But they try to install in my subconscious has to be lifted out. And the only way to truly lift it out is to replace it with something better. So I start working on myself bit by bit. You know, every time one of those crazy thoughts that didn't feel good pop up, I say, look, we got to change this. <laughs> we got to change this. You know, and, and uh, with all the research that I've done on a subconscious mind, um, I found that the solution was going to be for me to use my own voice because my subconscious is going to pay more attention to me, my voice. You know what I'm saying? My truth. And it's not only just like the sound of my voice, it's the truth behind it. It's the knowingness, you know, getting back to the core of who I am, you know, getting back to the very core of who I am, okay, so, oh, excuse me, um, so, yeah, that's the backstory on why I started doing it, and it has gave me so much strength throughout the process to where I can handle these blows, or whatever comes my way with a positive attitude. You know? I can keep my integrity and my grace. Uh, yeah. I can have a healthy pride within myself. Like, I'm doing this. You know, I made it so far and I'm going to go even further. <laughs> I'm going to go even further. Regardless of who doesn't like it. Because it's not, that's not my goal for them to like it or agree or support my journey. No. Um, my goal is to be my journey, to experience my journey, and to be positive about it, and to know that brighter and better days are still coming consistently. is going to be well all is well all will continue to be well mm, it's so beautiful out here
It's just so beautiful. Feels so good. I feel so good. And hopefully you feel so good too. been talking for 40 minutes I'm going to go ahead and end this video look I don't know if y'all can see that you see that dog over there he's just chilling I don't know if y'all seen him but he's just chilling so cute but anyway I'm going to let y'all go peace y'all